Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 28th, 2020. Happy New Year. I was supposed to wear uh, this jacket that I bought specifically to wear uh, in this video, but it hasn't come yet. So maybe you'll see me in a sparkly jacket <laughs> in another video and it won't make any sense to anybody. They'll be like, what are you doing? That's really flashy. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we're going to get into it here. We're coming into 2021. Are you guys ready? You know, January is going to really have, uh, you know, this sort of thing going on. We got to hang tight. Okay. We got to hang tight. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, maybe a year overview, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Of course, check out everything I have over at Gumroad. It's just another digital platform. It's kind of like YouTube, except I can say more over there. And also, if you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. So what the heck is going on for this week? I think everybody is tense. I think everything is just sort of, you know, financial systems seem like they are twisting and turning. Now, this time of year, I do batch film ahead of time. So I am recording this, uh, what is it, beginning of December. So we'll see how things are playing out. Of course, if I need to hop back on and make a, an update video, I can definitely do that. But um, just the feeling I have right now is there's this tension in the air. Um, a lot of people are fearful of what's to come. So there could have been some things that are coming out or that have come out that have rattled us, that have really blown our minds. Um, and people are wondering, you know, what what is debt structure going to look like? What, what um, is going to, how is this going to affect my home? You know, these sorts of things might be a concern for some people. Okay. Now for others, is there's something on the table that seems like a great deal and it does have something to do with finances, but it's not going to go very well because it's not fair. Okay. It's not fair to everybody. So it has a sense of like, I don't know if there's going to be like debt forgiveness or something along those lines, but what about the people that have already paid off their debt? You know what I mean? Who had to work really hard to pay off their debt. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, there might be a generation of people that feels forgotten where it's like, Hey, we went through everything that you're going through. We never got that help. Like what the heck? <laughs> right. And then this generation's over here, like going, well, we deserve it more kind of thing. So I don't know what the, it's like a generational thing where there's like, we work so hard, we deserve this, you know, there's that kind of mindset. And then there's another generation saying, well, we deserve it too. So there's something around age. And like I said, generations, generations kind of coming at one another, blaming one another, putting each other down that sort of thing. Now it might not just be this week, but there's this tension rising around this and how things are done. There's a lot of argument about how things are done. There will be turmoil around power and who has it. And, um, you know, what you think has been laid to rest is not laid to rest. It doesn't actually go away. It comes back again. Yes. And this is all in the wake of everything else that we've been through in this year. So I think a lot of people are just laying low, trying to just not, <laughs> not get invested in all of the stuff that's rambling around and kind of, um, you know, trying to get up in our faces. So people are being tested to do what we've been saying for weeks and well, for a very long time now, which is to come into the heart space and to lay down all the burdens just lay down all the burdens and just try to be as peaceful as you can be and let things play out. Watch interfering in things. And this is uh, very much about, I'm hearing parents interfering too much with their children's lives. So maybe you have adult children and you're, you're, you know, getting too in there, you know, they've got to learn things on their own. And I keep hearing generation gap. There's something about tension around a generation gap and it has to do with something that seems unfair it seems very unfair it seems like well why why does this group of people get this but we don't you know so that keeps coming around i want to repeat it for that reason i wish i had better news it just feels very tense and very like people are about to blow up at any moment right so watch people acting out be careful where you go um people are short circuiting. And again, maybe it'll seem like it's nice and quiet and calm out there, but 
I don't know, guys. There's something going on behind the scenes. So let's get on to the cards. So we want to be careful about how we end this year. And as, you know, watch the energy we're carrying over. Okay. Yeah, and watch the mindset of, oh, yay, it's a new year. Now we're done with 2020. You know, all the lessons are done. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how that works, okay? Time isn't actually linear. Secrets broken open. These are big secrets. Big secrets broken open. All right, there's a card. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. This is why there's tension because people are choosing to take action, but it's in a way that's not helpful. Okay, so it's in arguing. It's instead of trying to find uh, an equal solution across the board, um, you know, people are trying to force their opinion, force their way, and expecting everybody to understand their experience, but not being open enough to understand other people's experience. Okay, so it's time to take action in a healthier sense means changing what you're putting out there change what you're putting out there okay all right that should do it then we have a new start is coming new moon so again there's still more promise of things are they might seem like they're a little crazy on the surface, but things are going to be equaling out. It's going to be all right. We're getting into a new way of doing things. But in order to have that kind of effective change, we need to be willing to change, right? So we need to be willing to let go of some things. Um, mm. Money. Money just keeps coming up. It's all about the money. And there are going to be people who are going to be really upset because you know it has this feeling of I worked my entire life to pay for a house or to pay off you know debt and then you just get handed this and you know careful with that okay careful arguing that this is a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra so if we take a gentler approach to it there is a chance here that a, a nice fair uh, solution can come about uh, again, because I'm recording this ahead of time, I wonder if this isn't like a like a relief package or something and people are upset about that as well. Or new laws to come kind of thing. So it, it's something that's not going to be able to be put on the table right away. It's going to need to be reworked so that it's a little bit more fair for everyone. Okay. All right. Watch the entitlement because they're, they're, I mean, they're showing me people with their hands out like this, like, I deserve it. I go through more than anybody else. I deserve it, right? So careful with that. Don't think that you're the only person that had to experience 2020. You're not the only person who had to experience all the stuff that you've experienced. A lot of generations have had <laughs> their fair share of turmoil and things that they had to get through, Okay whatever side, whatever generation you're a part of. Yes. All right. So take time to breathe out disseminating moon. Again, I think tempers are going to be flaring. This is encouraging us to breathe and to let it out and not take it out on one another. Again, protect the children. Do not take all of this negativity out on them. They do not deserve it. Remember 2020 was a part of their childhood. That's going to um, really define you know, what, what their experiences are. It's like the generation that went through the depression, you know, that's going to shape them that shaped them and shaped how they see things. And this, you know, like, okay, I gotta watch what I'm saying here, but, um, what we went through in 2020 is going to shape our children's futures. Okay. They might be more fearful of illness. They might be more fearful of their boundaries getting crossed or things not being allowed to do things. You know what I'm saying? Like they might have more of a rebellious streak when they get older, right? So we have to be careful with them. Let them know that they're safe and that everything is going to be all right. I have fuzzies all over. There was a video where I really, hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to go back and edit. Hopefully it's not in there, but I realized I had smeared my lipstick too. Oh, well. Anyway, we have Cyan, build your confidence, 35. I feel like this is building our confidence in what's to come. Again, a lot of us are wanting to shut down. We're so scared. Everyone's wanting to kind of hide. And this is saying it's not time for that. 
build your confidence, build your resiliency, trust in yourself, trust that you can get through whatever is thrown your way. All right. So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.